Hi, this is Linda at CreativePLR.com and I'm in Canva and I'm going to show you how easy it is to take a template in Canva and create a chores chart for your kid. Now that they're going back to school, it's time to get our routine again. Summer, we're a little off. But now they're back to school and they have certain hours to do their chores. We want to make sure they get their chores done. Homework first and then chores. Okay, so what I did was I actually went to Canva and I searched for chore chart. And I had, they came, all kinds of them came up. And so I went to several of them and I checked them out. And I said, oh, that one is kind of cool. These are, these are kind of interesting. This one is a, for a very young child or maybe a child with special needs. Has just pictures to guide them in what they need to do. You've got one that looks like this, my chores chart. You have one that's a little bit like this. It's decorated. I actually like that. Um, that one's kind of fun. You have this one with a theme. That's what we're doing today. We're going to do a themed one. And we've got this one, lots of color. Now, if you're going to do one with lots of color, and for yourself, you're going to want a color printer. And, you know, if you're doing things like this and creating things in color, you probably already have a color printer. I know I do. If you're doing these to sell, uh, color is by all means will grab people, but also give them a black and white version. I'm going to just pull uh, one that looks like... Mm, I think I'm going to do this one and I'm going to customize this. Now, when I say customize it, I'm going to change it so much you're not going to know what it looks like at the end. I'm going to get rid of all the clip art. Same procedure that we have when we're doing anything that's PLR. So this has the tasks. This has Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and points. We're giving points every day or we could just say total. Kind of like that. I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to say Mike, because that's my son's name, although he's a little too old for me to give him chores now, but I'd sure like to. And you'll notice that this is a nice font that's easy to read. I know that many of us that design love these script type fonts, but when you're doing anything for children that you want children to be able to read, you have to have a clear, straight font. It's easy for kids to read. Now I'm going to bump this up a little bit so we can see what it looks like at 100%. Okay, you'll notice that this font is a little small. That's 11. And so I'm going to bump it up to 20. I know kids have better eyes than I do, but I want to be able to see it. And I'm going to do the same thing with these. I'm going to bump up maybe not to 20. Maybe I'm going to try 12. That works. 13, 14, and then I'm going to go over to this one where it did go on the second, and I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to say, I want my letter spacing to be smaller. That works great too, and I can do that for the others as well. Now, I know that I don't want that blue font. I'm probably going to do a black font. Uh, I'm going to change some of the colors on here. Uh, Mike would not like pink. And so I'm going to change that to a, uh, a blue. I like the purple a lot. I'm going to get rid of the yellow. And instead of yellow, I'm going to make it... First, I'm going to put a border on it. Very fine. And then I'm going to change it to white. And I'm going to change them all to white. But you notice I didn't get a border on all of them. Mm -mm -mm. Bad planning. But I can go back up here and I can start doing it. And when I do that, maybe what I can do is I can get rid of these. And I can copy these. And I need one more, don't I? And this one needs to scoot over. That one needs to scoot over. That needs to scoot over. Now I have a whole row of them. Let's see. I didn't need that extra one. So... What I need to do is I need to copy this whole row, copy, paste, and of course if you have more than five chores every day, you can actually add some more lines. We've made the lines a little big, so they're easy to read, but 
you could always make this a little smaller add six rows in here and the bottom it's the reward i suggest you letting the let the kid choose the reward they'll be more likely to do the chores if the reward they're getting is something they actually want and then you're going to calculate the points and you're going to give them a goal now i don't know about you but whenever i do chores i never make the chores uh, one two three for seven days of the week and you've got five that'd be 35. i'm not going to get 35 points ever it'd be a rare week when i did all of my chores every single day but you could do like 28 or above you know that would be 80 percent that's a b that's a good grade so and then you give them a reward so and then you could spell out what the reward is you could add something else over here you could write in all of your your chores there whatever you're doing uh, clean room take out trash feed the dog uh, unload the dishwasher depending on the age of your child you'd have different things i want to make this background a very pale color so that it stands out let's see i want to make it a very very pale maybe not that pale maybe not maybe paler than that so i'll go up here that works for me okay and then the fun comes in decorating so i have a whole bunch of images that i've been creating and selling and so you could use any packs that you have i think one of my favorite packs my son loves all kinds of cartoon things so one of my favorite packs is the animals the winter animals or oh, the jungle baby those were very cute and so i would go over and find those jungle babies where are you they are way down here on the list i have all of the other oh there they are this i think is such a cute one and then of course you have to shrink them down so if you have a bunch of kids you could make each one in a theme kind of have some fun with it younger kids might like the safari theme and then you could always add oh that monkey's so cute you could actually add them in the margin here on the edge um, so you could add them all over and do a theme now if your child isn't into safari animals they don't want to go on a safari then create a different theme if you got several kids you're going to have a the safari theme one i'm going to go back up here i have winter animals i have well we knew i was going to get to the monsters because the monsters are my latest love and so we're going to do monsters now when you start having something like this it's got a lot of color in it maybe you want to go and customize that font with the color that oh that's not dark enough let's try it again let's go for this dark color over here oh i like that it gives it that color maybe instead of that color you want that color oh it didn't give me the purple it gave me the outside edge so maybe you want that so it's color coordinated so that would be easy to do and then add some of your monsters all over the place and kind of have fun you could do a, one kid's a monster one kid's the safari animals or whatever else and at christmas you could have christmas themed chore charts really makes it more fun when you do a theme of the month and it makes the kid want to look at the chore chart more often really anything to motivate them to do their chores i hope this was helpful and you can start creating some chore charts not just to use but to sell an etsy with all different kinds of themes on there until next time keep creating